today is for sure going to be a hat day. My hair is just looking crazy right now. It needs to be washed, it needs to be toned, and I'm doing all of that tomorrow. So for now, we are just leaving it in a ponytail. Does it get boring and repetitive that all of my vlogs start in the same place? It just feels natural because like, this is how I start most of my days, getting ready in this bathroom. But I thought I would just vlog these next couple days. They're just gonna be today and tomorrow. It's currently Monday. Wednesday, I am flying out to go stay with my boyfriend and we are going to my friend's wedding in upstate. It's kind of perfect. So it's one of my like oldest friends. We've known each other since elementary school, but her wedding isn't until this weekend. So I'm going to PA first. I'm going to stay there for a night, see my family, stay with my boyfriend. And then him and I are gonna drive up. We're gonna stay there for a couple nights for the wedding. And then we're gonna drive back down. And on our way down, I'm gonna stop and see my friend Julia that I do my podcast with, or we're like on a hiatus right now. She just had a baby. So, you know, a lot going on. But I wasn't able to make it up there for her baby shower a few months ago. So I am like, I'm gonna be right there. So perfect opportunity to stop and see her, meet the baby. I want to put together like a little gift basket thing for her. So that's what we're gonna do later today. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you along with me these next couple days while I prep. Today, I am going to stop in and visit my friend Nina because she just moved to salons and she is officially a business owner now. I'm so excited for her. Um, we used to work together at the last salon I was at. I'm so proud of her going from being commission her whole life to now she's gonna be booth renting, so she's her own boss. She is officially starting tomorrow, so today she's going over there to, you know, set up all her stuff. I'm dying to see the, what the salon looks like and see her space. And then I have a nail appointment, which I'm so excited, I'm getting my hands and my toes done. And then we're gonna go to Target to get some goodies for Julia's goodie bag. I already got her a bottle of this Sebastian Dark Oil spray, which I love. It smells so good, and I know she loves this too. Let's go see Nina's new salon. That is hilarious. So, <laughs> the salon that she is at, there's two of them, and I could have swore, I mean, they're like right down the street from each other, but I could have swore that she was going to this location. I think originally she was, but then it was full, so she's at the other one, and I literally, <laughs> I just walked in there and it was like dead silent, and I'm like looking like an idiot. Yeah, I just like walk right in there. Nobody even like looked up or said anything to me. I know where she is now, so <laughs> we'll be there in a sec. Okay, now we're at the right place. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'm so excited to have brush nails. I wanted to go with like a really bright, vibrant, like orangey red. I'm like one step closer to feeling ready for my trip. Um, and I think it's just gonna be so pretty because the dress that I'm planning on wearing to the wedding is like nude and then it's like a sheer black over top. So it's like black and nude um, and I'm wearing nude shoes with a nude bag. So these are gonna just really pop and with the dark hair, like it's gonna be a look. I'm excited. And my friend's new salon is so cute. I feel like it's going to be the perfect base for her. I'm so excited for her. And then I ended up having extra time before my nail appointment. So I popped into Ulta and I got some things there. And then I went to Target and got a bunch of goodies. So I'm going to do a haul and show you what I got. But first, I was about to take one of these Magic Mind productivity shots because I had my coffee this morning and now it is three in the afternoon and I'm just hitting that midday slump where I feel like I could use caffeine or something to like keep me going because I'm just like, 
at that point where if I sit still too long, I will fall asleep. But I don't want to drink more caffeine because I feel like it just is too much on my nervous system and then I'll have a hard time going to sleep tonight. So I'm gonna take one of these and I love these shots because they give you that energy boost and like the mental clarity that you need without the caffeine spike and then the inevitable crash. And thank you so much to Magic Mind for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. So these help to give you calm energy, they lower your stress, help focus your mind. And it's not necessarily meant to be a coffee replacement. You can take this whenever works best for you. Sometimes I'll take it in the morning with my coffee. If I am waking up and I'm feeling like it's just one of those days where I'm having a hard time concentrating, especially like my work from home days when I'm sitting at the computer all day. But usually I like to take them, like I said, midday to just kind of like keep me going without needing more caffeine. So think of it like a mental performance shot. It's made with 100% safe ingredients. All the ingredients are third party tested and sourced from the best suppliers. In fact, there's over 200 scientific studies behind every ingredient in these shots. I first started taking these a few months ago and after I would say like a week of consistently taking one every day, I really was starting to notice a difference in how I was able to sustain my energy throughout the day, but also feel like calm and able to concentrate, not like that jittery feeling when you're hyped up on caffeine. So if you want to try out Magic Mind for yourself, there's no risk. They actually will refund you 100% of your money up to 100 days after purchasing. That's how confident they are that you will see the result and love this product. So go ahead and click the link in my description and use my code to get 48% off your first subscription to Magic Mind for the next 10 days, or it'll get you 20% off a one-time purchase. And thank you so much again, Magic Mind, for turning me on to such an amazing product and for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's start with the Ulta stuff. It's crazy how you get this little tiny bag and this was still $100. Like, this is it. This, that's all I got. I am super excited, though, about everything. So the first thing I got is the Anastasia Beauty Balm. It's a serum-boosted skin tint, but it's a stick. That's what it looks like. I kind of love that it looks like a little deodorant. And this was, like, stupid expensive. It was, like, 40 something dollars, and I'm like, mmm. It's not even that much product. It's 0.63 ounces. <laughs> it's so little. But most days when I go to work, I don't really like wearing a lot of makeup. Like, I'm not going to put on a bunch of foundation and stuff. So I just wanted something that would sort of even out my skin tone. And a stick product is so fast to apply. And it's not as messy as liquid. So just wanted to try it. And I thought that that could be good. It's supposed to be like light to medium-ish coverage. Then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. My friend Nina, actually that I went to visit this morning, uses this every time she does her makeup and I'm telling you her skin, like it always looks so amazing and glowy after she applies this. So I wanted to get one for myself. I just got the small size. Very excited about that. Then I got a small size of the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump Gloss. I've had this before. I actually just finished, like I literally scraped the last little bit from the bottom of the tube. <laughs> this stuff works so well. Like it seriously makes your lips so full. And I feel like it's something that I don't go through very quickly, so I just got the small size. Then I got this Revlon lipstick in the shade Bare Affair. It's one of their cremes, which it's sealed, so, and they didn't have any testers out, so hopefully this is a good color. It looks like the lighting in here sucks right now. Oh yeah, that's perfect because it's kind of sheer. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that was going to be kind of a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk or like, you know, in that family. And I think this is going to be absolutely perfect. And then I also got the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil. 
Um, I have this in a different shade and so many people were telling me that I need to get it in the Honey Talks shade and I just think this would look so good on top of that lipstick, right? Oh yeah. It's very sheer, but it just, it's like the perfect little flush of nude. Amazing combo. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, which I already have, with these on top. And then a little bit of the lip injection to like make a va va voom. Amazing. And then the last thing I got at Ulta is the e.l.f. Squeeze Me Lip Balm. This is actually going to go in Julia's goodie bag. I already have this in this same shade. And I love it. It's so good. It's very similar to the Laneige ones. Super hydrating. It adds just like a little flush of color. It's just like perfect thing to just keep in your bag. That's all the stuff from Ulta. So then from Target for Julia, I wanted this to like mostly be for her. But I couldn't resist going over. This is actually the first baby item I have ever purchased in my whole life. Look how cute. I just wanted to get something that was like neutral and just really, really soft. Then I got this for her, which I am tempted to go back and get it for myself too. Because this is so soft. It's giving skims. Um, it's a two-piece set. It comes with the long pants. It is so so soft and ribbed then it has the collared button up long sleeve shirt and i just thought this was so perfect because it's so soft and comfy perfect thing that's just easy and because it's like button up i feel like it's you know if she's breastfeeding it'll be like super easy to do that and you know for like lounging around the house and it's cute enough that like honestly she could go out in this if she wanted to. Then I also got some treats for her cat and her dog. Cause like they can't be left out, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. He's like, how did how'd you know? He's like, mm, treats? I'll give I'll give you your some of your own. Then I got her a couple gift cards, Taco Bell, because that, you know, just like me, our favorite. And then I got her a couple of her favorite candies. And then I got some tissue paper for the bag. And I'm just reusing a gift bag that I already had. Um, and then I got her just a cute little card. I also ordered her a necklace. So I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. I'm hoping that it will arrive before Wednesday. Um, if not, I can just mail it to her. But yeah so that's what i got for her anyway i'm gonna go make myself some lunch and then clean up a bit i have a little bit of some computer work that i need to do i have a video that i need to make a thumbnail for and make live so i'll catch up with you in a little bit good morning i just got up a little while ago made myself a cappuccino and i was Reading the comments from the video that I just posted yesterday, which would have been the last vlog that I just uploaded when I got my hair extensions installed. <laughs> and I'm like getting a little bit annoyed, if I'm honest. It's just hair. I didn't realize it was that serious. If you're starting a comment off, whether this is online or to someone's face in real life, and you're starting it off with, not to be mean, but not to be rude, but I don't usually leave negative comments, but like, just, just don't then. Like whatever's about to come out of your mouth after that, just don't. <laughs> and like, I get that content creators on the internet, it's like you are voluntarily putting your life out there, putting yourself out there, you are bound to get criticism. There's going to be some negative stuff sometimes. There's going to be random trolls that are like obsessed with following you and watching everything you do just to leave negative comments every single time on everything that you post. That's weird too, by the way. Like, I mean, whatever, I guess it's, it's good. It's like, it's views and engagement, like, okay, or whatever, but that's weird to me and I can't imagine 
having like that little going on in my life that I'm gonna be like obsessed with somebody and wanting to do that. And, and if you are like so, you just don't like somebody or there's something that bothers you so much about them that you feel the need to have to like insult them and try to like hurt their feelings and say something mean to them on every single video or post that they make, like you need some type of help. You need to go find a hobby. You need to maybe go to therapy, like go, go for a walk. You know, get some endorphins going. Like, do something to feel good about yourself. Because I cannot imagine, like, when you have so many good, positive things going on in your life, who has the time or the energy to want to go and, like, tear somebody else down, you know? But, yeah, I, like, overwhelmingly... And I appreciate everybody that left sweet comments, but so far, anyway, they're, like, overwhelmingly negative. And I am all for, like, I, don't get me wrong, I know that I can be, like, overly sensitive sometimes to criticism and, like, especially when it's in a comment, because you can't read people's tone, and I'm like, I'm there, I can be feisty, and I immediately want to fight. <laughs> so, I try to not read my comments if I'm just, like, in that headspace where I feel like I can't handle reading something negative. Um, and you know, some people were just giving constructive criticism and they were just saying, you know, like a lot of the comments were just about the hair extensions and saying that like either they didn't think that they looked good or they didn't blend that well, or, you know, I needed more hair or I should have replaced the extensions and got new ones that were thicker, or, you know, I shouldn't have put them in in the first place, blah, blah, blah. And you know, like I, I, Again, I put it out there and that's fine if, you know, you want to express your opinion, give some criticism. Like, I appreciate that kind of feedback to an extent, you know? At the end of the day, I have eyes. I can see, like, the video that you watched and all the angles you saw, I saw them too. I saw more than it, actually, because I had all the raw footage and was editing the video. I also have a mirror and I can I look at myself every single day. I see myself more than you see me. And I've seen myself from different angles, more angles than you've seen. So, you know, as long as I am happy with how something looks or I'm, you know, like just, yeah, it, it's not perfect, but it, I'm, it's whatever, I don't care. I'm fine with it. Then like, that's all that matters, you know? But it, it's, that's fine, you know, give your constructive criticism, but you don't have to be an ass about it, you know? And so I just wanted to say about the hair extensions. So, <laughs> and it's frustrating how when I have long hair, I get comments that are like, you look bad with long hair. You're, someone said I'm too top heavy to have long hair. Okay. But yeah, it's like I have long hair naturally and I get comments that I don't look good with long hair. Then I cut my hair short. I get comments, why did you cut your hair? Oh my God, your hair was so beautiful before. The short hair is so terrible. You should get extensions back in. You should grow it back out. Like, then I put extensions in. Oh, why did you get the extensions? They look so bad. You don't look good with the long hair. Why would you do that? Did it, like, if anytime I change my hair color, there's always something to say about it. Like, let people live and do what they want. The beauty of hair and makeup and all of these kinds of things, nails, fashion, we are just playing. You get to play around with different looks and experiment. And sometimes you're just in a mood and you just want to chop your hair. You want to change the color. You just get kind of sick of looking and seeing this, you know, having the same look for so long. And you just want to change it up and you can want to do something knowing that it's going to be temporary like if i want to make my hair bright orange or whatever like i can know that maybe this isn't like my most flattering hairstyle and you know maybe i look prettier a different way but that's not what it's about the point is i just want to have fun and experiment and just change it up once in a while 
and it's fine for me for anyone to do that and you don't need to be telling them oh that that looks really bad on you you should go back to whatever you should do it like this instead like that's not for you to say you know what i mean like unless somebody's genuinely asking you like hey what do you think do you think i look better like this or like this but if they're not asking just shut your mouth like it ta you're taking the fun out of wanting to experiment so yes i got these hair extensions put in because like i said in my last couple of videos when my hair was long i loved it for a while then i got sick of it i wanted to cut it short it felt amazing to cut it short it just felt so fresh i was loving the short hair it was really fun it felt good to get off that hair off my shoulders especially during the hot summer months but now it's at a point where it's just an awkward in between length and i just want it to grow a little bit more and so i just thought this was a good time to temporarily play around with some hair extensions because i still had the hair it was still in good condition and i know some people were saying that oh you're supposed to get rid of it after a few months you should have bought new hair you shouldn't have reused it when i got this hair originally we bought two big packs and at the time i only used a little bit because i was just adding fullness not any length so we did like i think two rows the first time then i took one row out just did one row for a really long time and these are naturally the same texture and curl pattern as my natural hair so i was rarely putting heat on them i was taking really good care of them i only washed my hair like maybe once a week at the most once they got to a point where they were kind of ready to like be replaced we replace it with more hair. So the hair that I had left over in that baggie that you saw in the last video, that was hair that had only been installed one time and I only had it in for, yeah, I guess like five weeks. That was literally it because it was the last time that we had did the extensions. Everything else we just got rid of because I had a lot to start with and we ended up throwing out the old hair. So it was, like I said, hair that I only had in for five weeks, and that was it. And then I had one big row that had never been installed at all. It was still fresh, brand new hair. She did not end up installing all of the hair that I had. I was kind of hoping that we were going to put all of it in. And I do agree. I feel like based on like my natural hair thickness... We probably should have did one more row at least, but I had literally just got them installed, okay? Like, I I, st I still, actually, it's been a full week since I got these installed originally, and I'm washing it. I'm about to hop in the shower soon and go wash it for the first time. I haven't washed my hair yet, and when she first put these in, they were like, thick like they were a lot more fluffed up and i think that's why she only did two and a half rows once she blow dried and heat styled the hair it smoothed out a lot more and it literally shrunk to like half the thickness whereas my hair like being out in the humidity and stuff it's like has grown a little bit so i think that's what's adding to like the disconnect and people were like, why would you cut your real hair? I literally just took the top layer and I just texturized the very ends very softly. This is still thick and full. I did not thin out. I even said in the video, I don't want to do a lot because when I take the extensions out, which like I said, I'm not planning on keeping them. That's also why I didn't want to buy new hair. If I was planning on having these for a long time and I was committed to this life, then yeah, I probably would buy new hair. But I literally am only planning on maybe moving this up a couple of times. Like, I don't even think, like, I'm just waiting for my hair to grow a couple more inches. And my hair grows pretty fast. So I'm not planning on keeping this for a long time. That's why I just wanted to see if I could reuse what I already had. So cutting my hair. Like, I even said when I take the extensions out, I still want my hair to feel full and healthy. I don't want it to be thin and stringy. So I'm not going to do a lot, but I did feel like this was so, like even without the extensions, my cut was so blunt. And especially like as it was growing out, I felt like I either needed to add layers or like texturize the ends or something like that. So either way I was going to do that. 
because it was just so blunt and so heavy and so like bulky. I didn't like that. I didn't like how it looked without the extensions and obviously with the extensions in, it makes it even harder to blend. So uh, there's nothing wrong with a hairstylist cutting their own hair. Let people live, even like if a non-professional wants to do their own hair, like whatever, it's their hair, who cares? I totally appreciate the people that were being like respectful, but there were some people in there that I'm just like, okay. The threads just going back and forth that like, it's really not that serious guys, okay? It's hair. And I just wanted to get to know one of the other stylists that works in the same building as me. We are exchanging services. Like I, you know, it, it's, it's not the end of the world. It's not like I did some permanent thing, which even if I did, like, uh, th that's the other thing too. I'll get comments sometimes about my tattoos. Oh, why did you do that? Like, why does it bother you? It's my body. You know, like just let people live and do what they want. And as long as they are not harming someone else, just just don't say anything about it. I don't know. Anyway, I just needed to vent about that. Today on the agenda, I need to give Benny a bath. I want to groom him because my friend Nina from yesterday, her and her husband are going to be watching Benny for me when I'm at this wedding. And I'm really excited for him because he loves their dog and they have a fenced in yard. And it's just like, it's such a good time for him when he stays with them. But I wanna make sure that, you know, I don't wanna send him over there stinky and gross. So I'm gonna give him a bath, clean his ears, brush his teeth, all that good stuff this morning. Then I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash this hair finally. Then we are going to head to the salon suite. I'm gonna do my hair. Um, I just need to refresh my tone. My hair is starting to fade and get kind of uneven in some spots. I did find some old tape-ins. I just have two pieces, but I was holding them up last night and I feel like that would work because, well, I'll show you later. But I do, obviously, like I, I see what you guys are saying about like the pieces in the front. I do feel like I need just a tiny bit more. So maybe in the future when it's time for my first move up or something, I will see if Emily, who did my extensions, could maybe like bring some of the hair a little bit more forward or something. But in the meantime, I have these tapes that I think will be good because the extensions go to right here. This is where they stop. But I do feel like I need a little bit just right here to fill that area. Again, you'll see like, my, like the face frame pieces. So I'm going to color those put those in and then just cut them. Then I have two clients coming in for haircuts, so they should be pretty quick and easy. Then I have a wax appointment this evening. And then after that, I just have like a little bit more straightening up that I wanna do. I need to pack Benny's stuff to go over to Nina's house and finish packing my suitcase. And then that'll be it. I'll be ready to leave tomorrow. And I'm gonna finish drinking this and then we'll go take Benny for a bath. What's really nice is my apartment complex has a pet wash station, so I don't have to give him a bath in the tub here because he sheds so much and then it always ends up clogging the drain. We'll go do that in a little while. So I'll see you very hey. soon. Go on. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a good boy. work what are you doing i decided to make a um like i want to start building like my profile yeah i guess we'll see how it goes nice what do you are you have a busy day no i i'm doing my own hair and then i just have two well like three clients i believe okay sorry 
Um, my friend Haley just called me. She is an amazing event planner and she is finally making like a professional Instagram account and trying to like grow her brand and all that. I was like, oh yes, I have so many ideas for you. So anyway, just a quick little catch up call. Now I'm going to do a little concealer. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. And I'm gonna just spot conceal some of the areas where I need like a little bit more coverage. Blend that. Now for the Anastasia, what is this called again? Beauty Balm skin tint so I'll just go like that yeah I feel like that's a pretty good match you probably could even blend this out with your hands honestly it blends so seamlessly and easily. Nice. I'm gonna do the Armani Cheek Tint. I've been loving this because I can be a little more heavy handed. And it is buildable. I've worn this with like a full face of makeup and did a couple layers of it and it did build really nicely, but I love it for these really lightweight, natural kind of days. All right, I'm just gonna do a little bit of brow gel. Then Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And then that new Revlon Bear Affair lipstick. Oh my god, yeah. I think this is like the perfect dupe for Pillow Talk. Like, look how perfectly that matches the lip liner. Oh my god, I love this color! Uh huh. And it was only like $10.99 or something. So good. And it's so creamy. Mm -hmm. This is going to be my new go-to. I love it. It's looking a little bit more orangey on camera. But in person, it's a little bit more of like a pinky nude. I'm going to layer the e.l.f. Honey Talks lip oil. Oh my god, yeah. Uh huh. This is the perfect. Perfect lip combo. Those colors go together so perfectly. So, again, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, which I'm sure there's a drugstore dupe for this lip liner as well, but. Revlon, just their classic black bullet lipstick. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous Cream in Bare Affair. And then Glow Reviver Lip Oil in Honey Talks. That's the combo. I'm gonna do a little bit of the Tartlet Fiber Mascara. And then, I'm so excited for this. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Just gonna use a little bit. Cause I just wanna test it out. I don't want to waste it. Oh yeah, like so glowy and dewy. Oh my god. I'll show you close up. So you can still see my skin poking through. But it just evened it out a little bit, gives it a little something. So here are the tape-ins that I found that still have the tapes on them. So these were the only ones. I have a whole giant bin full of hair. Wigs, 
all different kinds of hair extensions in all different colors. All the ones that I've had throughout the years. Ones I've bought myself, ones that were sent to me from PR, all different brands, like it's, there's a lot in there. Um, so I might have more, maybe, if I really like digged through it all, but this is what I could just find quickly last night. Um, and with tape ins, you have to like sandwich them together. So I have four pieces, but technically it's just like two actual chunks. But I mean, this is like decently thick, I think. So just to fill in this area, literally right there. Obviously, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter. So that way then it'll connect the shorter pieces to these pieces here. So if I just like cut it like that. And obviously I'm going to color these to match, but I think that's going to make a huge difference. Okay, just got to the salon. So this is the color that I'm going to do while a color touch. It's a cream demi permanent, which I like because that way as my roots grow in, I mean, my roots are naturally pretty dark, but they are a little bit more ashy. So I feel like when I do permanent color, you can kind of see the difference in the color especially up against the light so i like demi because it's just a little bit softer and then you don't have that like harsh stark line and obviously i'm not like significantly changing the color of my hair just kind of like richening it a little bit so yeah that's why i like to use demi and i'm doing 471 which is just a nice like neutral dark brown usually when i'm doing my hair i do some variation of like a level four sometimes i'll go more ashy sometimes i'll go a little bit warmer it really just kind of depends like what i'm in the mood for but right now i'm just feeling like nice dark rich color so i'm gonna put a cape on and then see you can kind of see especially like up against the light how I'm still fighting those coppery tones. It's crazy. I'm going to just apply this on my hair damp. Let it sit for 20 minutes. Oh, and I'm also going to put it on those tape and extensions. saturated my hair and I'm mostly just worried about like the top layer and the front because everything like in between it's whatever I don't really care <laughs> so now I have these tape in pieces so I'm going to paint right up to that tape pull it down Make sure I'm fully saturating. And I just rough dried it so I know that no matter what, it needs styling in order to blend. That's just gonna be the case no matter what when you have naturally short blunt hair and extensions but do you see how like they fluff up so much that's not even all of it like this is all the extensions so it's a lot of hair it's just when it's heat styled and like smooth down it obviously shrinks and then it doesn't look like as much but i don't like wearing my hair like that anyway I like having some texture and a little frizz and I like for it to be like bigger so I don't know I am contemplating maybe cutting it a little bit more just because like it's just long <laughs> but I don't know maybe I'll keep it long for the wedding and then cut it a little bit it's just like 
Ugh, it's so long. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I just rough dried it and then I smoothed like the top layer of my real hair. So I'm going to use my beach waver and I'm going to like style and blend everything. But I want to put in those tape ins. So you can see on the sides here, like it just needs to be filled in right there. I guess I should make sure my part is straight first. And then I'm going to determine where exactly I want these to go. I think like right there. So let's just pretend for a second. If these go right here, boom. It just fills in that spot right there and then if this is down and obviously I'm gonna cut into these a little bit so it just looks like layers but that immediately fills that and that's literally I think all I need is just the one piece right there it's gonna be hard to show you from this side so let me do this side of my head first and then I'll show you when I do this side the tape ins like they literally just have a piece of tape. So you just grab a thin piece, like see-through. I think the easiest way to do this is to lay the top piece down first. I gotta get real close for this. Smush it down and then just grab that and you can see the hair that's stuck to it. And that's literally all you need is like a tiny thin see-through piece of hair then grab my second piece so you're just sandwiching the extensions around your real hair i'm just gonna hold that there and press down and smush that's nice and comfortable in a good spot it's not going to get in the way if i want to wear sunglasses or anything if you see i'm pulling my hair back and then i'm just kind of following my hairline and i'm going at kind of an angle so that way it just like falls naturally because you know your head is round so everything should be at like a slight downward angle not like perfectly horizontal because then it's not going to sit right you have to make sure that your partings are very clean. I want to make sure that they're like hitting in similar spots. Yeah, that's good. So determine where you want the extension, peel the tape off, and then pull your hair down, go like right below the part, push down, and then pull it up, see what hair is attached to it, pull that away, again make sure it's a nice clean part, and then grab your second piece, and then sticky side facing up, because I want this to stick to the top hair, and I'm just making sure that those are meeting up together and then I smush them closed. You want the adhesive parts to meet with each other so that way it'll like seal closed otherwise they can like slip and slide when your hair gets wet. And you don't want to get like too close to your scalp because then they won't move as freely and from personal experience that's pretty uncomfortable if they're like too close to the scalp. Okay, so now let this down and yeah, here we go. Filled it in so nicely. So I'm gonna cut these a little bit to blend them into this layer of extensions that she cut. I'm grabbing this whole section so I have some of my natural hair and then I have some of the sew-in extensions that have already been cut. So I basically just want to connect my natural hair, that shortest layer, to these pieces here. 
So Perfect. So now that matches up. I just filled in this area and now it just looks like I have face framing. There's not as much of that like disconnect. Just making sure it's even. Beautiful. Okay, I have about a half hour until my first client's supposed to be here. And then I'm gonna take some oil. This is the Verb Ghost Oil. And just smooth it down. And I wanted to wash my hair today so that way I can leave it. And then in a few days, the day of the wedding, it'll be, like my natural hair will be a little bit less frizzy. Yeah. There we go. And I don't know, I'm still contemplating if I want to cut it. I think I probably will end up doing that, but I think for the wedding, I'm going to just leave it long. And then I'll probably end up cutting them to like about here-ish, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to clean everything up and get set up for my client. She should be here in the next like 15 minutes. Like I said, I have two haircuts back to back. And then I actually have another client coming in for a quick gloss, but that's it. So it's going to be a very quick, easy work day. You know when you're about to leave for a trip, so you don't want to stock up on groceries, obviously, because you don't want anything to like be left behind and go bad. So this is me just like using up what I have in my fridge. So we have some sauteed zucchini and mushrooms and I'm making a little bit of pasta with this alfredo sauce. Damn that's what I'm having for dinner. Listening to Sabrina Carpenter while I do that. I just her new album is such a bop. I am going to eat dinner and then sort through the suitcase make sure everything is packed up. I am so excited. I was just talking to my boyfriend on the car ride home and I was like oh my god in less than 24 hours I'm gonna be there. Oh timer. Let's uh pause. I'm gonna go eat dinner now. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Magic Mind. Thank you again to them for sponsoring a portion of this vlog. I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.